Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, uh, it only in the sense that I tried recording this haul video and I was talking as I was going through but there was something wrong with the sound, I was trying out something a little bit different and it, the, the actual audio that came with it, um, there's like a weird buzzing in it, it's really distracting so I decided just to do a voiceover instead so uh, what I'm going to be kind of saying, I'm going to try and match what uh, I'm kind of showing you in the video and obviously my hands are going to be moving around and things but um, I thought it was going to be too distracting and this would be the best way to kind of go forward. So this is my last haul for March, uh, this is from Craft Stash, all of these products are the Creative Craft products, so these are the home brand products and I've gone for some basic products here so first of all we have got this ultimate sentiments this is the birthday and celebrations stamp set this is a really fantastic size actually I wasn't expecting it to be this big um, but you've got lots of sentiments in here different sizes different fonts uh, together and you know it's just gonna work as a real good staple piece uh, to your craft stash really great item I will also pop some links to these products in the description box down below for you so next we have the ultimate ribbon sentiments this is the celebration stamp set they do a few different uh, versions of these so I think there were sort of three or four of these um, I think they're really great again a really great size if you don't want that ribbon end to it you could just cut those pieces off if you wanted to um, but a really just a, a different kind of sentiment there and you can also get then the um, ribbon sentiment die as well so each of the stamps has a die set that will coordinate with it you can use these two products individually on their own if you want but you can use them together so you've got 10 dies within this die set uh, and so each um, so that's special birthday that has two dies that will go with it so the first one you're getting is just the the sentiment again so in a thin script with those ribbon ends as well this is very delicate it's very thin uh, and then you could use it with that shadow die then so you get the the second shadow die you can use it for that or you can use it to cut out your stamp so it becomes then a coordinating stamp for that so if you wanted to do some heat embossing with the stamp you could then use the coordinating die for it if you wanted to stack it up with some colored card you can use this thinner die so you've got a few different options there of how you want to use this but like I said you can use it individually if you, maybe you don't do stamping you just want to do the die cutting you can just use that product on its own and again then you can just use the stamp set uh, on its own as well so the original reason why I was looking on craft stash was because I wanted to grab some nesting die so I'm really kind of focusing on my basic kind of core products at the moment and the nesting dies is really where I'm kind of falling down a little bit and the main reason for that is because you know you have all of these extra details the scallops you've got the stitch detailing and things and yeah I just didn't feel like I really had a lot of that especially in the sizes that work for the cards that I make so all of these these are the super size nestables this first one here is the scalloped rectangles so I think to fit my five by seven card the second one in is a five by seven size um so then I was then using the next size down but then I needed kind of a matte and layer in between my five by seven card and then that third sized um uh, scalloped edge because it was a lot smaller so it's almost like you need like an in-between size kind of as well but uh, on my next video that's going to be coming out I'm going to be using a lot of these products so you'll be able to kind of see how I use them together. Next then they do a slimline and a DL uh, sized uh, nesting die so they do two versions this is the uh, DL uh, stitched so I've been going with a DL size because I like that slightly bigger card uh, and what I've realised is this biggest size nest and die that fits perfectly as my first layer on the DL size card blanks that I've got and then you do have that stitched detailing as well so like I said if you have a look on their website they do uh, you know the exact same product but in both sizes in the slimline which is smaller and then in the DL as well and then they do lots of different uh, designs so they do this is the stitched one they do the plain they do the um, the scalloped edge ones as well and I think just having those extra bit of details on your cards really kind of make your matte and layers stand out a little bit more adds a little bit more detail so I'm definitely going to be looking at some more of their DL sized uh, products this is the stitched hexagon this is their old packaging so you can see they've moved from just creative to creative craft products this again a really big site like these are big big dies in here they go down quite small obviously like you can see um, and this also has then that 
that stitched detail on there as well um, and again in my next video I'm going to be creating a card uh, using these dies as well so creating the card base and then doing the matte and layers as well then the last one I got this is the scalloped oval so I didn't have any oval uh, shapes and they had this one in stock again they didn't have tons of these in stock um I was kind of looking at the um, I'm interested in like the stitched edge um I want to look at the um squares as well for like the six by six cards that I make but they didn't have a lot of those in stock at the moment unfortunately but um, yeah I definitely wanted to kind of just get those basic ones and what I love about the scalloped edge is the smaller the size goes the smaller the scalloped edge goes as well so they're not just using the outside size um, and then putting it on a smaller one you know they, they are kind of bringing those sizes down for those scallops. And then the next product I bought, this is the Effortless Envelope, and this is the DL-sized uh, envelope. So again, got a few different sizes of this, um, and there is tons. I think there was 29 dies in here, and this cost $19.99 on the Craft Stash website. So this is going to fit your DL-sized uh, envelopes. Uh, card sorry this is the envelope is going to fit your DL size cards again in my next video I'm going to be creating an envelope with this so you get the envelope maker uh, so the dies and then you get all of those extra dies on there as well I'm going to be getting it all out in a second so you can decorate the front you can create a different kind of flap on there um, so you've got dies to do all of that so it it's just going to kind of elevate your envelope a little bit more but I, you can create a, a slimline, I'm not sure about a DL size, but I know you can create a slimline envelope on the 123 envelope um, punch board, but I've never been that successful. I have a funny feeling that I haven't actually been doing it right. Um, I think I've tried to keep it with a flap like this one looks, but I don't think you're supposed to do that. So I might have another go at that, but again, this is the DL size, so this is a bigger uh, card. Uh, and, and this is kind of what I'm preferring to create at the moment. So I've got everything out of the packaging. So you have kind of four uh, main dies here to create your envelope itself. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys can kind of see this. I should have put a piece of paper behind it really. But so you have the four main dies. So you've got the actual dies which will create the envelope itself. So this piece here is the back. So you can see you've got the gap that you're going to be able to slip your card into. And then you do have the flaps on here as well. So I'm just going to move everything out of the way again so you can really kind of see this. So again, this is that backing piece. Like I said, you've got the space then for you to be able to uh, slot your card in. You've got the flaps on the side and on the bottom. So that will kind of uh, uh, score in that detail for you. So you'll be able to put this together really easily. Then you've got the front piece, which has got the uh, top flap on it. And you've got this front piece as well. Uh, and then it's just going to fit together really nice. Like these are so easy to put together. The one thing I will say is this, uh, if you're doing this out of A4 cardstock, which is what I was doing in my first example of using this, uh, it does take two pieces of A4 uh, cardstock. You might just be able to squeeze this onto a 12 by 12 piece. But what I actually love about this, rather than kind of the envelope maker, because I'm going to have a look at the other size as well, if you're using directional paper, when you come to cut your cardstock down for the one, two, three punch board, uh, if you've got a directional paper, you almost have to cut it uh, at an angle. But with this, you'll be able to kind of line this up perfectly. And again, in my next video, where I show you this, um, the envelope that I've created, you'll be able to kind of see what I mean, because I've used a directional paper on there. But this just means you can line it up perfectly and you can follow that pattern uh, you know, for your envelope. So the other two big dies I'm showing you here, so you've got um, the this piece here is to create um, a flap for the inside, so an envelope liner. They do do bundles on the website as well where you can get the bundle of the cardstock uh, to be able to die cut these uh, envelope inserts or liners, whatever they're called. Um, you can buy a pad to go with that, so you can even buy it with the pad as a bundle price or buy them separately. Um, but you do have this die in here. When you put it together, you're not going to see any of this uh, kind of bottom section uh, there. There is also, which I showed you before, there is another die which is slightly smaller than that front panel. So if you are using uh, maybe a planar cardstock and you wanted to add just a piece of pattern paper on that, you can do that. Uh, or if you were using a really busy pattern for your uh, envelope itself and you wanted to, you know, have a planar piece of paper maybe so you could write uh, your address on that, you know, you've got just a layer, a matting layer that you can pop on the front.
Then I'm just going to show you all the rest of the dies. So we have a couple of dies here, which is going to be uh, perfect for um, cutting a shape, which I think is really lovely, uh, into the flap of your envelope, just making something a little bit more elegant. We've got a couple of different tags in here. You can use these as just tags. You can use these and write the addresses on if you wanted to. You also have this little rectangle here, which has got some embossed line detail on here. So if you wanted to, again, have that kind of panel for your address, you can do that. You've got this little scalloped rectangle here for your stamp. So if you wanted to put that and then put a stamp on top of it, you can do that. We've got this lovely banner. We've got this other kind of scalloped decorative rectangle here, which you could uh, die cut from the card and then use that rectangle um, to kind of emboss the details on it. We've got um, circles with the scallops. We've got these like lovely little edges that you can add onto here. We've got uh, again more rectangles just pieces that you can use in your everyday craft in here we've got three different sized um, love hearts on here again these would be perfect for everyday crafting we've got some scalloped circles we've got some just straight edge circles again those come in three different sizes as well uh, we have a few flowers and things in here um, we have got then some foliage, so we've got some leaves. I'm just trying to sort of get it all into shot for you so you can see everything that comes with this. Uh, and again, for £20 for this much metal, I mean, I'd be happy to pay £20 for just the dies themselves to create the envelope. But then the fact that you're getting all of these other dies, like I said, you can use this in your regular card making. You'll be able to use this on your card and then on your envelope to help everything match together. It just means that what you're going to receive uh, or what your um, recipient is going to receive in the post you know can be so bespoke between then uh yeah the uh envelope and then the actual card that's inside it so that was a look at this at uh, dl size uh, envelope maker i'm really excited to start using this and really showing you um exactly how you can put this together so that was a look at my last March haul video. I don't know that I'm going to be doing any hauls um, for a little while because I probably have spent a little bit too much money uh, this month. But some really great staple pieces here, again, that you can be able to create card bases for. All of these nesting dies, you know, are a fantastic base product to have because you can just create the card bases like that. You've got your mats and layers sorted, you know, any banners and things like that that you want to add on to your card, any decorative pieces you want to add on to your card, you know, all your nest and dies are going to work perfectly for that. And as I've said sort of through this, my next video, I'm going to be creating five cards using uh, one of the paper tree kits that I picked up, I showed you in, an, in a last haul video. I'm going to be using the Summer Shores uh, paper kit. And you're going to see a lot of these nesting dies used in that video. So I've created a card using the hexagon and the scallops uh, ovals. And I've done one using the um, stitched uh, DL ones as well. I've created an envelope to match the DL sized um, card base in there. So do check out that video. It's going to be the next video that's uploaded here on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video and any future videos because I've created these five cards and I'm telling you, I have got tons of this kit left. So I'm really excited to see how many cards I'm going to be able to create using uh, that kit. So definitely check out that next video. I will leave links in the description box down below to all of these products. So you can head over to the Craft Stash website and um, have a look at picking these some of these up for yourself. If you've got any questions about any of these products um, or, you know, if you want me to sort of show things in a little bit more detail, just leave me a comment down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help to support my channel and like I said if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that's going to be it for today's video thank you very much for watching and happy crafting